he said, um, I have cancer. He said it very matter-of-factly. And I said, what do you mean? I said, you're, you're not kidding with me, are you? And he goes, no, I'm serious. He says, I have cancer. Once I found out my PSAs, they were 4.8, I think. Um, I pretty much figured I had it. I mean, I was 45 at the time, and uh, I was otherwise healthy, and I get this elevator reading. I felt like my world just came crushing down. I, I just, I was shocked. I was very shocked. Maria did most of the research at that point. Um, we thought about doing the seeding or all that other kinds of stuff, but only real briefly. The um, urologist that he had seen that had done the biopsy told him that he was comfortable with the traditional surgery. He, he had done a robotic, but he wasn't comfortable with doing it. Both Maria and I went in for one of my appointments to see him. And there was an individual sitting in there that had obviously just had the surgery done, and he was not a happy camper. And then, when we started researching the robotic, I thought, oh my goodness, it's magnified 10 times. And when I knew that this is the size of a walnut, um, I knew that you really want to have that area magnified. Dr. Patel called us personally. He called, I happened to answer the phone, and I couldn't believe I just felt kind of awestruck that, oh my goodness, I'm talking to this doctor who is what I call the man. <laughs> it's relatively new and now coming into the mainstream. Some people may have a tendency to want to avoid something like that. Uh, I'm not like that. We felt very secure in that Dr. Patel surrounded himself with a lot of really talented professionals. And um, I just, you know, we wanted to just uh, rest in that. My surgery was on a Monday, my catheter came out on Friday, and uh, after that I was, I had lifting restrictions, but that was about it. Let's face it, the men are concerned about incontinence, and they're concerned about their sexual function, and a lot of them are, um, are afraid. Come to Dr. Patel, period, end of discussion. I'd say he's the best, the staff is great, uh, the facility's brand new, and the guy knows what he's doing. You know, we knew we were being realistic that we might have to deal with, um, you know, side effects of losing sexual function. Um, but afterwards, and I honestly say this, uh, I'm amazed at the function that he got back and how soon it came back. It was, it was awesome. I mean, I, I, was, I was not that guy I saw in that other waiting room, let's put it that way.